Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Belt. My name is Kelly. I've got a confession to make. My new Iron Man tent mattress sucks, but this should fix it. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I launch new overlanding content every single Sunday. All right, now what is this? This is a massive upgrade to my Iron Man tent mattress. The mattress in there is just over an inch thick and it is so bad, I mean, so bad. My wife actually said that she will not come again until I fix this problem, so I did. This Aerolex mattress that I got is four inches thick and this is a double and it basically just fits inside my rooftop tent almost perfectly. I think there's a one inch gap on the side, but it fits all the way to the end, which is really what I wanted. I still wanted to maximize all the usable space within the rooftop tent, and this definitely fits the bill. Priority number one, it must be comfortable. Now I've already slept on this, so spoiler alert, it is uber comfortable. It doesn't feel like an air mattress as much as it does, more like a foam bed, kind of like at home. I have a tuft and needle bed, and it feels a lot more like that than an air mattress, which is really nice. The process to get this thing installed in the rooftop tent is super simple. It comes in a bag and the bag itself is a dry bag that also is the pump to get that last little bit of air inside of it so you're not having to blow it manually. All you do is unfold it, splay it out, open the valves and let it inflate. Now this thing is definitely not light. This is gonna add some weight to your rooftop tent. I would say it weighs maybe eight pounds, nine pounds, somewhere in that range. But uh, for the comfort that you get from this, it is 100% worth it to me anyway. So you just pull out of the bag. It's got this really cool mustardy color, which I actually really like. Pull straight out. Like I said, I have used it, so it is a ton of a tight fit getting it back in the bag. So it's got these two buckles here. You just release them and then open it up. Now the mattress itself has two inflating valves, one here and one here, and I orient those towards the ladder that way it just makes it that much easier to operate. To get this thing to self inflate, all you do is spin this around. So this valve is a, is a one way valve. So on this side, that's inflate. Then you spin it around. So you see the solid plastic and that is deflate. I got both valve valves open. Let's see how long it takes to inflate. It's been just over 10 minutes and the air mattress has pretty much stopped sucking in air. You can tell it's almost there. It's got some thickness to it. You can still see some waviness. Let me show you how to get it all the way inflated. Step one is gonna be closing one of the valves and then I'm gonna take the cap and I'm gonna screw the cap on which is gonna seal it so it cannot lose or suck any more air. This here is the stuff sack and on the bottom of the stuff sack, you'll see, if I can find it, you'll see this weird looking little valve here. And this is the actual inflation port. This goes over the inflation valve and then we inflate. All it does is press on, you hear it click into place. And now we take the bag here, we'll get some air in it. Gonna roll the top, seal it up and then squeeze. And I can hear all the air getting pushed into the mattress to inflate it. So that's it, it's inflating. It's gonna take me a few times to get this all the way inflated with this thing, but it's better than blowing it by hand. I've got the Aerolex all inflated here, and this thing is super cush. Anybody would be happy sleeping on this thing. This is leaps and bounds way better than the factory foam mattress that came with the Iron Man rooftop tent. And I think this is the Nomad 1200. I'm not 100% sure. I'll put that kind of right here-ish. And yeah, this is super, 
super nice. Now as far as fit goes, end to end, like front to back, it fits perfectly within the Ironman rooftop tent here, side to side on the back end, because remember this is a eye camper style where it kind of half folds with a hard shell. Um, the back end has maybe an inch and a half, two inches on either side, but the front half where it's more narrow, the way it folds inside of itself, it fits perfect. So this is actually a perfect dimension for this rooftop tent. And I can't speak to all rooftop tents, but for this one, it fits great. And I'll put the dimensions of this Airlex mattress right here. And this is the Airlex double. So it's twice as big as the single, obviously. And it is the uh, four inch thick uh, self-inflating air mattress that has like a hybrid. There's foam within it also. This thing is really, really cush. Right now, I'm gonna make my bed. I'm gonna sleep on it and let you guys know how it works out. While I'm making my bed, I wanna give a big shout out to Get Out Gear. This down puffy blanket is just over a pound and this thing is awesome. I used this when it was down to like 40 degrees um, a couple weekends ago and it was perfect. Uh, this thing is amazing. I was shocked at how well this kept me warm even, I mean, 40 degrees isn't that cold, but for summer in Northern Arizona, I mean, it's just, it's a good blanket to have. It doesn't take up a lot of space and just over a pound, you barely notice it's there. And it comes with the dry bag. This thing is really nice. Good morning guys. And I'm happy to report that the new four inch Airlex mattress was an absolute dream. That was just a great night's sleep, way more comfortable than any rooftop tent mattress I've ever slept in in my entire life. I definitely give it a four-star rating. That was amazing. Now I'll make it some coffee and then we'll talk about the negatives. So it's not going to be all rainbows and unicorns with this mattress. There are two drawbacks that I have found. One is going to be setup. One is going to be teardown. Now setup is pretty straightforward. Teardown is a little bit more complicated because the doesn't really want to get all the air out. So it's really, I wouldn't say a struggle, but it's definitely work to get all the air out of the mattress. I wouldn't say you don't have to get all of it out, just enough so it can fold over and the tent, uh, the rooftop tent can actually compress. Now the setup takes about 10 minutes in total. However, the teardown, I feel takes right around there, but it's really hard to tell. So we'll time it now and let you know how it goes. Now the mattress is super flat and it took less than three minutes, right at three minutes to uh, to get this thing fold up. And I would say 80% of the air is out of it. So now I'm gonna see if the rooftop tent will fold down with this and the bedding inside. It doesn't close up. It looks like my pillow is what's holding it up. I'm gonna pull that out, see if that'll work. It is a big pillow. I can't blame it. Seems to go down. So that's it. The Airlex 4-inch self-inflating air mattress is a big win. It adds about 13 minutes to the setup and teardown overall, but I think uh, in the end, a great night's sleep is completely worth it. Let me know what you guys think. Is the setup time and the little bit of extra work worth a good night's sleep over just a terrible sleep on a mattress? Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. It helps the channel grow, and I will see you guys next time.